So I'm starting off with this Bio Silk Serum from TJ Maxx for only $20 for the large size. And from there I also got this Frizz Be Gone by Giovanni which helps with um, frizz and everything like that and humidity. And I'm also using my Silk Elements Heat Protectant Spray which gets my hair silky and it prevents heat damage. So this is basically one of the sides that I did a blowout on really easy. And I'm just going to show you guys how I quickly do that. I'm using a really cheap $20 Conair, um, not Infinity, but just a basic Conair um, blow dryer. And so I'm just doing my hair in sections. And my hair dries really quickly, so I did have to apply more water on there. I was doing this at like 3 in the morning. So I added the Bio Silk first while it's damp. I'm actually going to add all of the products while it's damp because it helps with detangling and it just moisturizes my hair and gets all in there since it is already wet. And then I'm using the Frizz Be Gone to help with humidity and to add silkiness to it and you know, to avoid the frizziness. And so it also makes my hair much softer when I um, just glide my brush through it. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply the heat and I'm just going to go and like stride motions just up and down up and down this is called the tension method I could have just done a, a tension method without heat but yeah like I said it was 3 in the morning and I really needed to get my hair straight so I did have to use some heat but I never get heat damage from this or the flat iron so I'm just blowing out the hair sections it's really easy you only have to take about two minutes to really blow dry each section and as you can see my brush goes straight through my hair so yeah, but these products are very affordable when you get them from TJ Maxx and like at Marshalls because at Ulta they're very expensive. So I'll link all of the products in the description box for the cheaper brands and for some of you who don't have a TJ Maxx, I'll link the Ulta and the, a few other alternatives. But if you can't get these products, then I would definitely recommend at least the heat protection spray and um, some sort of silkening product because the key to getting a good silk press is to do a really good blowout but to also have silkening products I actually forgot to use my Mazzani that I normally always use like in my previous two or three heat straightening tutorials but I I was just rushing this time so I just used what I had and I'm just doing my blowout really simple so right after my blowout I made sure that I do my hair in sections so that I could flat iron and spray more heat protective spray to make sure that I don't have any heat damage and then I comb through the sections to distribute the product evenly and then I use my Conair Infinity Rainbow Titanium Flat Iron. It's really good for about $40, $45 and that smoke is coming from the product of the heat protectant spray. It's not just my hair, it's the heat protectant spray. And these are titanium irons that are specific for coarse hair which is why it gets our hair silkier than the ceramic irons would because the ceramic irons are for more fine hair so I just typically do like three or four sections within a section to make sure that I get like the roots really good and straight and my hair is like three different textures like the roots of my hair is like 4B, 4C ish and then like the other part of my hair that has had heat over the years has stretched to like 4A curls so yeah that's just the process sometimes I might go back over it if it feels like crusty in the back but you get the gist but these flat irons are bomb and I introduced these in my previous heat straightening tutorial so you can check that video out as well to see the comparisons but yeah I'm just going through sections and that's about it I forgot to add that titanium irons are different as far as metals so the way that they conduct heat protects our natural hair from heat damage and also frizz this is why most salons actually use titanium irons to do silk presses and flat irons versus ceramic and again that smoke is not my hair frying it's literally the heat protectant spray that is working so yeah don't be alarmed Oh, and for those of you who asked about if my hair will revert back to being curly without damage, I will insert a clip of my last wash and go about two weeks ago. And so I only flat iron my hair about like once a year or twice a year. So yeah, these flat irons are legit. And if you're interested in seeing my recent curly videos, curly hair videos and my wash and go, then you can click the link in the description box or go down my natural hair playlist.
Now at the top of my hair, I did notice that I have a lot of damage from when I detangled horribly in my last wash and go. I lost a lot of hair in the shower, but this is what I ended up with as far as it being straightened. So what I did was put in some little um, finger, what are these called? I forgot what these are called, but I just did a few of these curls and I'm going to add a little style factor for my edges. Pin curls, that's what these are because I didn't want to keep putting more heat on the curls. So I just did the pin curls so that they could kind of, you know, have a little more body because I definitely need to get my hair to be thicker now that I have more length. And I am going to do a trim as well, but I did it off camera because it was like six in the morning and I was trying not to make this video so long, but I actually ran to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, so I was gone for about like an hour and it was like rainy almost outside. So my roots kind of got a little frizzy. But I, yeah, for the video purpose, I just did not feel like re flat ironing the top of my hair. So, this is pretty much what I was working with. I feel like I didn't leave my pink curls in overnight, but I mean, it was for the video. So, I just wanted to show you guys like a nice style to do if you don't just want your hair bone straight and if you wanted to have a little more body. I could add some clip ins maybe within the next few weeks, depending on how the weather here in the Midwest is. But this is just what I did at the end just some loose curls so you can see my roots kind of got a little frizzy but yeah this is it i will do my length check in the next video but this is just how i maintain my straight hair it honestly lasts me for like two months my silk presses all i do is just wrap my hair i use bonnets satin bonnets and sometimes i even wear my hair like this and put a wig cap on and then wear a wig on top to avoid rain and crazy weather so that's pretty much it to this style comment below if you thought that I did a good job or if you learned anything and don't forget the links of my products will be in the description box and that's it you can click either of these videos to see my previous hair tutorials and styles and my natural hair growth and also my entire natural hair playlist if you're interested